All right, here we are again. I'm going to go back to my index page and I'm going to put some text here in the main. I actually put it on a sticky note for myself. So this is a couple of um, paragraph tags. The first one says, when you resize the browser window, note that the flex container grows wider or narrower, depending upon the size of the browser window. And then there's a little note here that says, note Flexbox is not supported on Internet Explorer 10 or earlier versions. It's relatively new. I should have added it to this class a little while ago, but um, it's relatively new. And actually, I can do all of, I can go to the command palette and format this so that it looks a lot cleaner. That is the uh, uh, HTML format extension that I used. So let me do a save and let's just take a quick peek. I don't need this anymore. Let's take a quick peek at the home page. So there it is, just that text that I added. Now we're going to add a few styles to the body tag. First, let's set our margins to zero. This is just something that, uh, in lieu of adding the normalize style sheet, we can set the margins to zero. That takes care of a lot of the things. Um, then let's give ourselves a background color of something quick and easy, azure. And let's set the font family. We'll choose something sans serif. How about Verdana? That, that should do well. Do a save. And now you can see the font family has changed to Verdana. We have a background color that's not very noticeable. It's kind of that pale blue. And now we're going to add the general selector. I don't know if you remember this or not. It's the asterisk. It means that everything in here in this rule will apply to the whole page. So I'm going to add my box sizing and border box. If you remember, what this does is it makes it so that whatever size your element is, for instance, if I make my main 800px, if I add padding or a border to that, it will stay 800px and it will subtract the padding from the width instead of adding it. Now let's do a little bit of styling on the H1s. We'll give them a text align center. And we'll give them a color of uh, cadet blue. I played around with these a little bit, but save. So now you can see there's my centered headline and it's cadet blue. Now let's style the main. We're going to give it a width of 800. We're going to center it on the page. Remember this centering trick does not work unless it follows a width. We're going to give it some padding on all sides. So that means just the word padding instead of top and bottom. And we'll give it a background color of light blue. Let's do a save. And now you can see on the main, there's this. So the next trick is going to be to style these to make them look like they're all beside each other. 